I started making jewelry in 1979 with my father in St. Pete Beach. And I was a platinum and gold manufacturer and diamond setter. And my, my duties became more and more responsible. I, I became a full service jeweler, designing and manufacturing lines and such. And in 1995, I was working for a jeweler in Charlotte, North Carolina, and he sent me off to train to fire glass on metal. It was a trend that the trade magazine said uh, was coming into vogue in the US, so he sent me off to train. So I started firing glass at that point. So I'm a jeweler and, a, uh, and an artist in, uh, in enameling. Um, it's copper enameling, so it's fused glass on metal. I'm using a coefficient powdered glass, both transparent and opaque, and I'm firing it on the copper at 1,475 degrees. Enameling is so unusual, it's so wide in variety, that there are many different artists doing it, but there are still a lot of areas that haven't been touched, and my area is quite experimental in it, so it gives me an opportunity to do a lot of different things in the art world that haven't been done yet, which makes it very exciting. Torch firing allows you to do work in the air, in the open, watch the reactions as they work, get a lot of different things you can read as they're happening. Instead of peeking in the kiln to see it happening, you're actually doing it with a torch. So I can get a lot of different varieties of color and different types of effects from it while torch firing. Well, I learned to be happy. Um, I think one of the rules is, is, is when you go to bed at night, whatever you're worried about, if you're worried, is, is there tomorrow. Get some sleep. I love life. I like being in the world I'm in. I love my wife, my son, my art direction, the people around me. I think that's important.